welcome back with another video you guys uh, please subscribe leave a comment leave a like or dislike any suggestions uh, thank you for tuning in today I will show you guys how to uh, a beginner guide on how to put your runes correctly so that way you do the most damage to your fireball if you're playing fireball uh, fireball non crit uh, so today, this will show. I will showcase uh, a few things: how to get six color uh, skill, uh, and the proper uh, color that you want. Uh, and then we're gonna talk about candor, which is then turn all your skills um, white with the plus level on the spot that it shows up. That would be random. Uh, when the uh, skill is white color instead of Pacific color, uh, you can use any runes in that white color that you want. Uh, if it is a Pacific color like red and blue, you must only use red on the red and blue on the blue, um, etc. So, real quick, uh, the ways to acquire uh, more of the uh, item to make six color uh, would be in the ore shop uh, you will accumulate this as you progress to the game clearing axe uh, and clearing um, maps uh, in your quests and stuff like that uh, make sure you do 100 percent of the map exploration so that way you acquire the rewards so the more you have you will go here and you can buy um, any of these uh, upgrade skills or um, candor essence maps and etc uh, but the main one you want right now to focus on is to get your skill to six color um, and then you, you can buy more of this using this uh, so w once you acquire a bunch of them uh, what you want to do is go to mystic rune enchant then you can put in your skill and then you want to enchant your skill you want the speed to five so it goes faster you want repeat settings at 5 so that way anything above 5 uh, it will stop at 5 or anything above 5 it will stop uh, in the beginning uh, you would have a, a 1500 once you reach 1500 free uh, of this roll uh, they would give you one f skill free uh, 6 link meaning that if you accumulate 1500 um, then it will be uh, a link, a link, uh, one free link, uh, six skill, uh, six color. Of, uh, then uh, just remember that one. Uh, don't go over 1500. Once you reach 1500, be careful what you put in. Uh, another thing is at, during the accumulation, uh, sometimes it just popped up uh, a six link skill and this will reset back to zero. Uh, don't panic uh, it's in your bag so just want to make sure it's in your bag and check it uh, then you can then transfer the skill uh, to, a, to a skill that you want to use or if you want the one that you want to use just buy it and buy multiple and keep enchanting to five or uh, uh, etc um, <clears throat> that's the way to do it uh, another way is to see if a skill is um, it, it's, it has different colors but you want to but you want to change the color uh, to make it connect to the uh, rules that placement that you put um, you would do the color change uh, then if the color is all matched for all your runes but the position is not correct uh, I suggest you move around the runes but if you are like completely no spot left uh, what you want to do is you want to use uh, the rune link essence which then switch the positions of the skill uh, of the color for you so that it matches up uh, with, uh, with yours but to my suggestions is um, if I were to spin um, this one uh, but then uh, uh, this one will be up here. It won't link to this uh, particular trigger uh, skill that I have. You need spell activation on spell hit trigger skill in order to play a secondary skill. Uh, now, since 
condensed fire is a rarity, is a rare skill, and is a synthesis skill. And people have been asking for beginner guides on fireball and what skill is best to link uh, with fireball or just play uh, standalone. Uh, so to me, uh, to acquire this, you need to be you need to have a pity box. Uh, if you don't have a pity box, uh, then uh, what I mean by pity box would be over here. You will go into um, uh, skill, uh, magic, and you get a pity box once you hit the mileage. Uh, so in the pity box, you want to choose uh, anything you want and make sure you choose the right one. Uh, same thing with the rare. Uh, you make sure you choose the right one. Um, either you synthesis and, and get a lucky you know spin and, and get this condensed fire but if you don't have condensed fire uh, what you can want to play that from the beginning would be the two skills that you want to link together would be that you can get from shops uh, would be rune shops you want to go to uh, as you unlock different stages it will unlock more uh, lightning chain is the no is the secondary uh, skill that you want to link with your fireball and those two can be acquired at beginning levels easy two skill one of the most strongest combo uh, uh since since season since the first get the day that the game come out uh the reason why is uh as you can see a fireball would be your damaging skill uh lightning chain is for the shock effect uh, any any monster that are shocked, uh, they will have um, uh, debuff on their armor and resist. Uh, so that way, amplify your fireball damage even more. Uh, at the same time, lightning chain um, can shock uh, up to uh, a, a, a three uh, chain count, which is three times three three monsters, uh, one cast three monsters. Um, as you get it to the best and possible awaken. Uh, this is what it would look like so uh, this is what it would look like uh, you gain more cast distance uh, chain chain range and chain count meaning one cast of uh, lightning chain it would chain up to 11 monsters uh, at the same time shock chance increase meaning you get more chance of shocking the monster um, at the uh, verity uh, awaken uh, you get additional um, uh, da damage for every um, remaining chain that is not on that's not chain so say um, if there's a mob of five monsters the remaining chain will be six now that will amplify your laning damage uh, for this skill uh, by the difference max at 15 uh, etc uh, verity is the best option to awaken uh, you don't want to play bind or uh, anything like this uh, you just want more damage for your lightning chain so that way uh, when you cast your fireball lightning chain does damage as well uh, but you do need the spell and trigger hit so let's go over the runes that you need so the first skill that you want would be fireball right uh, then the second skill would be your lightning chain right uh, and then the runes for uh, Let's go over the runes for fireball. Uh, runes for fireball would be additional fire. Let me get that for you. Additional fire. Right here. Additional fire. This is all from the shops. Uh, second one would be multi shot uh, multi shot uh, this is for your lightning chain this is for your fireball this is for both um, this is for your lightning chain this is for your uh, trigger This is for your uh, lightning chain. This is for both non crit build. Let's 
so you have fireball then you have lightning chain okay so now we're gonna take a look so in the beginning what you would want is uh, this and then you would want persistent then status spell damage then you want your trigger so your trigger will look like this and then you want quick quick cast on your fireball your fireball will be right there your multi shot will be right there your spell damage will be right there your additional fire will be right there additional lighting damage will be there uh, a persistence will be there continuous shock will be there right and then uh, for your movement skill if you're using wand uh, you want uh, this right here How, however you want to set but this is the the ideal uh, setups for your um, for your beginner build that you can get from shops uh, these are all runes and skill you can get from shops uh, if you're one then you will, you just want teleport make sure everything is linked uh, again you can spin the, the positions uh, so that way both links to uh, everything so that's what you want uh, you don't have to set it like this. You can set it whatever you want, but make sure, but make sure that your uh, trigger is linked with your lightning chain, so it must go the direction of the arrow in order to work. Then you, then you would equip both skill uh, in order for it to uh, activate at the same time, right? Um, and then uh, late, later, later on. Uh, you, you you have all six color which is the the main goal you want to do right now is to have all six color first uh, another another one you want to have would be uh, the uh, uh, Wiccan totem uh, uh, Wiccan totem uh, would decrease the uh, element re uh, increase the damage uh, enemy take uh, by percentage uh, if you don't like weak totem uh this 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 uh, this already debuffs this make it more debuff uh basically that's the ideal um and then um another way you can set this up is you will start acquiring uh siphon life so for this for this what you want with siphon life is you want the release element uh you want to link this two together And here's how to uh, acquire that. Let me move everything around so I, it's better to see. Uh, so let's just put that uh, against that. Uh, so that way it's easier to see. Right here. Right, right there. Um, so, uh, so then you have all of this right here. play around with this real quick uh, so I, I have unlocked in some spots here but you in the beginning you won't have this um, so uh, depending on where your your trigger skill shows which way you must acquire it like that way uh, to get the best maximum uh, damage for your skills again you must have six color uh, to do this uh, if you just to play fireball alone then this is this is what you need. Uh, and then on top of um, uh, this, the if you just play fireball by itself, uh, then you will need to acquire some more uh, like concentrated damage, uh, area damage, uh, which amplify it more. But this is a synthesis skill. It is not a, a you can buy from shops. Um, another rule would be area effect. Uh, skill that you can put in uh, if you were to play this by itself right here okay um, that's that one so let's just 
want to link this to uh, let's go over the runes again you have trigger is the main one uh, you have six color six color uh, this has to be blue in order for trigger to work make sure you equip both skill for it to work um, then you would need for your lightning you will need additional lightning damage spell damage on increase on attack uh, you want status uh, enhanced effect you want persistence on this to make this non crit uh, at the same time give it strike damage amplified uh, and then shock uh, which which then you shock rate will increase more so you, you shock monsters more uh, then your fireball you will need spell damage increase uh, multi shot additional fire quick cast and then persistence right again another persistence that you can buy from shop and this needs to be a six link a six link right and then you get just spin the color the way it is uh, it, it needs to be the same color uh, so that way all this will be connected uh, another one for your buff would be release element uh, in the beginning you can buy from shops and then the defense skill is siphon life so that you gain life uh, back every time you, you're low. Uh, the two rules you want to link for this would be increased duration, time acceleration. These can be acquired from shops. Um, the uh, movement speed, or if you're using one, uh, you want to have um, teleport. And the two rules you want to link with would be use count. Uh, and then, uh, so so let me show you use count use count and disarm so so use count increase the count plus one uh, so now that is just one if I use count that will be two uh, if you're using uh, dual dagger uh, or any scepter or anything else uh, you can use two min movement skill and the secondary and the second movement skill would be um, leap attack so you just hop around uh, so that gives you two uh two more um two more so so this would be so this will be same thing uh you want to set it like this uh it's like th like this or like this and this so that way both of this will be in the middle and this two will share the same uh setup uh in some way uh another way that you can do would be this this would be the best ideal um, to, to get this uh, so you don't have to waste so much resource on getting multiple of this so you just focus on this level up you can leave this to a uh, level one uh, so that's your buff uh, and then uh, yeah that's for the beginner guide um, as for so that'll be one one skill uh, teleport here you will equip this here uh, another another rule that you want to try to get is um, it's this one uh, buff on activation when hit uh, this is also a solo synthesis skill um, so what you want to do is once you have it it turns this into buff on act on hit so when you are hit uh, the 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 runes will uh, make so you don't have to press it in order to for it to work once you're taking one damage this will then buff that up so that you don't have to worry about you know doing that uh, that's that's something you you, you want later on uh, so that's one and then two and then three and then four uh, so that's your four if you are using uh, leap you don't want you know if you're not not using leap uh, you have to have dagger sword or uh, axe or anything like that for use leap uh, if you're using dual daggers and going stuff like that uh, then you can use that but uh, for ones uh, unfortunately this this is all you can do for ones you want to have this with the weakened we totem for the debuffs and then you must wear this on the secondary slot and a way to get the secondary slot will be 
uh, K and put in your secondary slot. So in order for the trigger to 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 hit. So this is your ideal setup uh, for the beginning, non crit fireball and uh, butt build uh, for level one to fifty or or you want to continue this can go all the way to the end game if you want um but um i've, I've switched to condensed fire uh, reason why is because now uh lighting chain is not optimal uh for um non-crit uh reason why is that uh the uh, effect here 50 percent uh, spare crit damage against uh, shock enemy. Uh, it is best if you go on crit build, then um, th it will maximize the skill usage. Um, that's why I switched to over condensed fire, uh, so that way uh, both both skill will be non crit uh, with no drawback um, and do double hit. Uh, another thing that you want to do is uh, when you are level 60, uh, you want to get uh, into a decent, decent raid. Uh, when you do decent raid, they drop uh, rune stones, and you find a particular rune stone, especially uh, growth. Uh, growth plus one level to your skill, which is strong, and then you must put that skill there in order for it to gain the effect. Uh, sometimes uh, you see the bottom. It says um, debuff for that skill. So what you want is something like this uh, right here. If you can find that, that would be gold. That that would be worth so much. <laughs> if you can sell that, that would be worth so much. But unfortunately, you can't. But that's the ideal. Uh, the ideal second of uh, buff. The second effect that you want. Uh, so then you put fireball there, and then fireball will gain the 40% additional damage. Uh, for the um, uh, for the lightning chain, uh, I prefer uh, instead of plus one level, uh, what I prefer would be um, would be oh, no, not this one. I'm trying to find my friend, uh, the one with the rune stone of area effect. Give me one second here. He has a lucky roll on that. Um, right, this guy. So that's what you want for your lightning chain. Again, it, it's all random. If you're lucky to find one. This is what you want for lightning chain. Uh, the reason why is you want the damage for lightning chain, area effect for lightning chain. Uh, the reason is is you want the cast distance, uh, area effect uh, uh, affect the cast distance. So the the f more distance, the better. Um, other ways you can get distance will be uh, in your zodiac, uh, where if it says um, area effect uh, like that one or um, right here area effect for this one uh, I don't take this one um, because it takes one two three four five points to get there uh, and it, it does nothing for fireball um, and that's why I prefer just here uh, that should be fine and then uh, vacuum should be another 10 uh, that'd be uh, 10, 30 percent, 30 percent, um, then plus the zodiacs. Uh, put the stone with the stone with the stone, uh, that will be another 30 percent, that's um, 60 percent. So this will be around uh, 980 to a thousand cast distance. Uh, so any of the monsters that's within the range, the lightning chain will take effect. Uh, would proct in a sense so this this is the setup you want uh, eventually we'll get to another video of uh, changing this uh, into this uh, so that way your skill becomes um, 
becomes uh in a straight line but the main important thing again is getting two skills or one skill six color first so that way you can maximize all the runes that's linked to it uh so as uh let's 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 i will show you uh how this works uh, so right now i have all my skills candor uh candor would be having uh make all your skills white or plus three to your uh slot that it is so in order to see candor you will need this rune candor essence uh, you as you progress you acquire them through quest or um through uh, maps or through uh, void rifts later on uh, but you want all your skills white so this is my setup so what I have is a rune growth here I don't care for the secondary anymore because it's important to just get plus one level and then another one here how this would work with that and then uh, resource damping for my silver strike so that means it is less resource uh, for the um, skill that I was going to put there. So what I did was I unlocked some space so you will need this and some gold to un unlock these. Uh, again you acquire these through mappings and etc uh, and quests. Uh, so I set that to that as my plus one level. Uh, the reason why it's plus four is because the candor the max level is 41 uh, the candor will give it a uh, plus three level uh, so that we c that plus three level or uh, plus plus four level plus four levels so that'll be 45 uh, plus this one is two more so that's six or uh, five excuse me I'm sorry uh, this is plus one candor give three because when you candor it's either white plus level or plus level to the slot which is like right here you can see it's three and then it's two right um, and then this right here so then I can have my condensed fire here it follows the trigger then I can put persistent here the mana storm here oh that's harmony I'll put that uh, this is persistence here, harmony there. Uh, my other skill would be um, fire torrent uh, for the extra damage, and then zero strike here. And then I will set this here for siphon life. I will set this one here for CC uh, on on CC me. Uh, I put that there, and I put this here, and then I put the totem here. And then I put a teleport here. A uh, seal strike, I'll put it here. Uh, condensed fire, I'll put it right here. Uh, concentrated area, uh, concentrated area here. The parallel here. Rune dampening here. Elemental damage here. Uh, Activate buff and CC here. It's linked to this one. It does that on its own when I'm CC. Uh, this one here, so it activates when I'm getting hit. This one here for extra damage. Um, multi shot here, so this becomes more more count. This is six. Multi shot add two, that'll be eight. Uh, later, you want to awaken, awaken add two more, so this will be uh, ten. Uh, so we ten projectile or ten torrent coming out. Um, and then uh, time acceleration here to this both skill so it reduces the cooldown of both skill as you can see it's at 30 24 this go down to 24 this go down to 20. so the lower the cooldown the better so that it can keep always on um, this arm here this arm will reduce the cooldown of this uh, this becomes is at six with nothing this will become four so i can spam it more often uh, i like to have I like to have um, um, ignite fire, ignite explosion there. The reason why I want to use ignite explosion on top of fire torrent is fireball proc uh, burn, uh, burn chance 
um, so if a monster is get affected by burn uh, th this cannot apply burn uh, but if I put project uh, if I put ignite explosion uh, it amplify uh, damage against uh, any burn enemy so that's way stronger than uh, any amplification rules I have uh, this is probably the best one for amplification against burn uh, and it does more damage it was critical and stuff like that uh, which is which is way stronger if you go crit build uh, but I just want the amplification uh, on burn enemy which is great for this skill um, then I have uh, this one the intellectual for more cast speed uh, this one is a synthesis skill uh, it is the knowledge effect uh, which is also uh, increase the effect of your zodiac knowledge. Uh, not this one. It's vacuum, I believe. Yeah. So this this effect as well. So you have forty percent, forty percent there, uh, and then you have another um, another uh, thirty percent here. Or the more you level up, the better. So additional 10% so that'll be what if I use this buff the knowledge effect will kick in more often um, so then I have time and duration uh, it will increase the duration of both of this skill and then I have enhanced effect enhanced effect will increase the effect of amplification and cast speed uh, for this skill uh, in the previous video I've tried out the um, the um, persistent strike for double hit. Um, I I might change that back. Uh, it's because I just found out that um, the uh, persistent strike uh, now give triple damage when you legendary. So I might get that back if if I can synthesis it back. This is a synthesis, but um. If, if, if in the beginning you acquire it, uh, I would suggest you get this and get it to legendary so that way you can do uh, triple damage, uh, a 3% chance of triple damage, which is huge. And then uh, the other runes is uh, vital recovery, which then give me regeneration effect, and then uh, additional fire right here. Oh, sorry, additional fire right there. I've just played with the additional fire. I'm gonna get it to legendary soon, so that way it increases more damage than any of the amplification. It's more than harmony. I've tested it out, um, so might gonna have to switch that eventually for all my skills uh, to have additional fire damage. Uh, because the reason why you want to increase more 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 base damage. Um, oh, I gotta equip all my skills here. Um, another one is. Uh, area totem I just want this bigger um, so that I can debuff more enemies um, yeah that's that one oh use count and that's my whole setup and yeah I gotta equip the skills Oop. now you can unlock these for more gold uh, etc so put that there put this here put this here Put this here. Um, put this here. Put that there, and put that there. All right, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Have any questions? Please go through all my videos. Uh, please comment, or uh, for any questions, uh, please go back and rewind. I know this is a long video, but I want to be thorough about it, so you guys in the beginning know what to do. Uh, which is the most important thing is getting your skill six slots and getting the right runes for your skill so you can progress faster um, uh, Any questions, please let me know uh, and have more videos coming out uh, Please uh, subscribe leave a comment. Thank you so much